students the very first term we will study over here is judiciary the term judiciary states that the justice given to our indian people is being by three levels a b c c is here for lower courts b for high court and the top level is supreme court any miss happening over here will be started from the lower court lower court is just not this term lower it states that under this lower court you will find out the revenue court which is being presided by the district magistrate of the city then nyay panchayat lok adalat this nyay panchayat is a part of the panchayati raj this is village level court nyay panchayat lok adalat this lok adalat is being made by the government for the fast track courts means justice is being needed by the people quickly and swiftly that's why this lok adalat has made do lok adalat is made and who presided this lok adalat lok adalat has been presided over by the judi retired judicial officer a social servant and a people among the individuals of the city here also in nyaya panchayat sarpanch and the block level members they used to preside this nyaya panchayat and this revenue court is for the cases which are been by the seven cases all are these been treated under this revenue court now among this lower court if any person finds that he is not being satisfied by the decisions given by all these three courts he will move to the high court high court here chief justice he is the one the supreme head who will give the decision and again if the, the individual finds out that he is not being satisfied by the decision then he can plead over to the supreme court here 
the head is in the supreme court cji the topmost body among the judiciary chief justice of india for becoming a chief justice you should be at least of the age 65 below and the retiring age of the cgi is 65 and the qualification for becoming a cgi you must be a citizen of the country plus 10 years experience as a chief justice in the high court sorry five years experience as a chief justice of the high court plus 10 years working experience in the high court as an advocate then supreme court chief justice is being selected by the president with a proper advice of the chief justice of our court india then if you see the qualification here for becoming a chief justice in the high court not more than the age of 62 years should have an experience of 10 years as an advocate then you should be a citizen of the country now one more question arises here can he be or he or she be disqualified from their service the tenure period of 65 and 62 before attaining the age of 65 and 62 can they be terminated the answer is yes but it is not easy to terminate a justice he or she can only be removed from their service through the process which is called as impeachment impeachment is a motion which has been arises which has been arised in the parliament it comes in the form of a notice on the table of the lok sabha speaker and then the voting has been done and about two third of the majority is needed to pass this motion of impeachment against the chief justice and if it has been passed from the lok sabha it has to be moved to the rajya sabha there also two third of the majority is needed again and again if it has been passed it will move to the president and then president finally he has or she has the power to remove the chief justice whether high court whether supreme court now powers of the supreme court
there are about five powers of the supreme court original jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction advisory advisory supervisory and at the last court of record now what is this original jurisdiction here there are the matters which is to be only being heard by the supreme court like the disputes among the two governments See here, you all know that High Court is the for the states, state matters. But if two state governments are in some kind of chaotic situation, then who will give the decision that which government is wrong and which government is right? Is the only Supreme Court. Plus, if any individual files a suit against the government, then again here Supreme Court is the one who will takes the decision on such kind of matters. Plus, union government versus state government. Okay, two or three state government versus union government the prime minister is the head of the union government you all know so here the country needs a body which is independent from all the governments that is the supreme court that's why we call the judiciary body is the in is an independent body in the country salaries perks commissions nothing is being decided by any of the political leaders or the parliament okay the judiciary body is independent to take decision on their self matters issues got it now appellate jurisdiction what is this appellate jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction tells you about that if a in if an individual is not happy with the state government uh, sorry state high courts he can go and appeal in the upper court that is the supreme court so that's why this is called as appellate jurisdiction understood then comes advisory jurisdiction it acts as an advisor for the president of the country if a president if the president of the country wants any advice regarding the constitutional matter Supreme Court is also a uh, 
custodian of the constitution of the country okay <clears throat> and this court supreme court advises the president on certain matters that whether he is taking the decision as per the constitution or not they can advise then the very powerful power of this supreme court is the supervisor it also supervises the functioning of all the lower courts in the country got it and the last one is the court of record all the decisions which are being taken by the supreme court is being recorded in the law books for the further matters of the same kind that why it is also called as a court of record now there is a very famous book named as spirit of law written by
and they are implementing properly for the people or not so this judiciary body is for checking out the government duties understood so it maintains the balance among the people of the country and the government understood okay dicey a social thinker he proposed a principle called rule of law it's a very popular principle for all the law makers and this rule of law tells you nothing is above than law whether prime minister president all has to be under this principle rule of law guides all the government courts executive whether permanent whether political executive permanent executive all of them nothing is more powerful than law this principle was being proposed by then i want to tell you there are 21 high courts in all of the of our nation in some of the states they are having one high court for two states like punjab and haryana there is a high court in chandigarh for both the states for seven northern east what are not eastern states they are having high court in guwahati seven northern street north and north eastern states are manipur mizoram meghalaya arunachal pradesh assam tripura and one more nagaland so for all these seven northern eastern states there is only one high court in guwahati and how these are being made article 214 article 231 article 214 214 tells you that there will be a high court for the state article 231 tells you that there may be one high court for more than one state understood disputes which are being discussed in these courts can be categorized into two suits civil suits criminal suits civil suits are be like marriages transportation property inheritance all etc all these kind of cases are be heard in the civil suits civil suits can be uh, taken over directly to the district courts criminal suits are been like murder robbery threatening 
all etc all this kind of kids